Hello YouTubers and welcome to another episode of Flashback Friday. And today we're going to take a look at Matthew Overtaker, alien, more commonly known as Mac Icar, the Apple Piston Cup Racer number 84 from the first Cars film, or also known as Cars 1. Now before I get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, <clears throat> Matthew Overtaker, more commonly known as Mac Icar, is an Excelovision Piston Cup racer that bore the number 84 for Apple Incorporated, which is a real-life sponsor, along with Dale Earnhardt Incorporated, Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s sponsor. Oh. And he also shared the same number as Davy Apex. When in 2005, he was one of the racers to participate in the Danico 400 at the Motor Speedway of the South and hasn't spoke in the film at all. And in between 2006 and 2015, he was replaced by a nameless racer alias Joshua Josh Leverson who bore who shared the same body mold as Brick Yardley who in turn in 2016 was replaced by a next gen racer named JP Drive during cars 3 he, he, when, when they were playing to have the two apple racers in the film they decided to change Revolting's team number from 84 to 48, who is the number of T.G. Castlenut and Aaron Clocker, who I unfortunately don't have. And during his diecast releases, he was released only one time in a Motor Speedway of the South 36 car set which featured all the Piston Cup racers from Cars 1 from the Dynaco 400 only as a exclusive Red Clubs set for Red Club members only back in the late 2000s and since then he hasn't been released ever as a regular diecast ever since however he 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 all he also appears on eBay as factory customs from Chinese sellers on eBay. And now without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got his angry determined facial expression, his headlight stickers with the number 84 on one of them, his white exterior paint. And on the hood, we've got the Apple logo. And on both sides, we've got the white rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the black exhaust pipes and the gray number 84. And a few contingency sponsors say Piston Cup, Nitrade, Revolting, Vitaline, Clutch Aid, Octane Gang, Moot Springs, and Little Torquey Pistons. And on the top, we've got another number 84, no name signature. And on the trunk, we've got another. Apple logo and the ducktail spoiler. And on the back, we've got the Apple logo in the middle, the taillight stickers with a number 84 on one of them. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other Excello Visions. We've got Chuck Armstrong, Todd Marcus, Lee Revkins, Darren Ledfoot and Aaron Ledfoot and some of the other cars that share that has his diecast body mold we've got the Brony Motor Co Sparks such as L Ralph Carlo Rusty Cornfield 
and hauling gas. Kevin Racing Tire, who is a Capital Motors mark, I think. I could be wrong though. If I'm wrong, let me know what you think in the comments down below. So, Ruby Easy Oaks, who is a Crown Celesta. And Aiken Axler, who is a Lux Motors Co. V8 Piston Cup racer. And some of the other Accelo vehicles, we've got Brick Yardley, who is a Spark, I mean, a Fission EA. Core Copper, who is a Rapido SI. And Matty McGear, who is a... I'm not sure what Axel vehicle she is. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And some of the other Apple Racers, we've got the Apple Racer, or should I say Joshua Josh Leverson, and JP Drive. And that is all, all I have to pull up. So anyhow, Apple is also a, a real-life brand that also made a cameo in numerous Pixar films, which, and coincidentally, Apple founder Steve Jobs teamed up with John Lasseter to, for, to found, form Pixar. And... Which reminds me, I'm trying to figure out how will I be able to get my hands on some any some cars, whether if they're new releases or from the past. And I'm also wondering if they're seen at either Target or flea markets like Treasure Isles or Trader's Worlds and hobby stores and so on and so forth. But what do you guys think? Which Apple racer is your favorite? Which Accelo vehicle is your favorite also? And which car that had only been released one time that I have that I have for next Friday? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car that had been released only one time for next Friday in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review. So please stay tuned. Goodbye now!